Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In the last episode, I showed you the new feature of a uh, calendar uh, view uh, color condition, uh, but it's also possible in addition to in the Microsoft list or SharePoint list to do it in a document library. So I'm now in a document library and I have some columns. I have the name, the document type, which is actually uh, a choice. I have a due date and I have a owner, which is a person that is assigned. So let's upload some documents and uh, I'll show you how to do this also in the document library. So let's take this, this and this and let's upload it and let's uh, add some metadata. I'll click on the edit grid and I will put the, this is a contract, this is a meeting and this is a rules, this is the date, doesn't matter. And let's put an, an owner, let's put Alex and Megan and myself. Okay, so uh, the data is now here. Uh, let's see how we do it. So we will go here to the drop down, we'll create a new view choose a calendar, let's call this a uh, cal, and we will choose uh, a date that it will be uh, based on, and just, and we will see here, it will take the, the title, we don't want the title, we want to take the name, because the name of the document, maybe uh, the title will have uh, information, but currently the name is empty, the, the title is empty. So we see here all of the names of the documents and it's based on the due date. But if we want to specify uh, color co conditions, we'll go to the drop down, click format, and we will have a conditional formatting. So uh, what we can do is here actually at first we can uh, create based on the due date. So we can say, uh, if the due date is, for instance, uh, after today, then we can uh, change it to blue. Uh, okay, and let's create another one. If the due date is uh, before today, then let's make it green. Everything here is currently uh, before. We can drag it uh, here and we will see now the color has changed, but uh, I want more uh, columns. So actually what I need to do is to go to the gear icon, go to the list settings, go to the view and add the columns that we are, uh, are missing here for filtering and conditioning. So we will add here, uh, actually we will add the columns that we added document type, uh, let's press OK, and uh, now we will go actually and format this current view, and uh, let's just uh, even uh, erase these conditions and rules, and create actually a new rule, which is if the doc type is equal Contracts, let's color it in blue. You see this is in blue. Let's go back and add another one. If the document type is equal to meetings, let's make it in green. You see, I, we can choose uh, which color we want it. So we can make it red. And the last one, let's add another one. If document type is equal we can do also not equal rules let's make it yellow so here actually you see we can uh, see all of the documents based on the type we can also filter here and say show me only the rules or the meetings uh, and okay so this is actually an example how to do it in the document uh, library but it uh, it's exactly the same thing in a Microsoft list. So test it by yourself and see what you can do. Goodbye. Have a good day.